Okay, we've talked about area of different shapes. And we've talked about um, different types of three-dimensional shapes. And we've started talking about nets, which are the when you flatten out a three-dimensional shape. So now we're going to talk about the surface area of the nets. So when you fold that cube or that prism or pyramid out, how much area covers the surface of it? So surface area is the total covering on the faces of a three-dimensional object. It is also measured in square units. An example would be wrapping a present. or the amount of cardboard for a box, like if you're making a box. Okay, so if we look at this first one, it says use your understanding of surface area to answer the questions below. So if we decompose a net into shapes and complete the table to determine the surface area of the rectangular prism, label each face of the net with the area to visualize it. So our shapes that we have here are, we have, a rectangle. Well, do we have any shapes other than a rectangle? No, all of these shapes are different size rectangles. So the formula we need for all of these shapes is area equals base times height. So we have three different sizes of rectangles. And if you look closely, you will see that this rectangle is the same size as this one. And our measurements for this, this side is three, this side is eight because it's the same as this. So for the area of this shape, our value is going to be Area equals 8 times 3. So the area is 24 meters squared. So that one is done. The next shape we have is this one. And this one also happens twice. And the dimensions of this shape are this side is 15, this side is 8. So area equals 15 times 8. You can use a calculator to figure that out. If you do that, you will find that it is 120 meters squared. The last shape that we have are these thinner rectangles. We know that this side is the same as this side. So it would be 15. And this side is going to be the same as this side because they would line up you fold it. So that would be three. So these shapes are 15 by three. So area equals 15 times three, which is 45 meters squared. So now I know that this shape here is 24. The 15 by eight are 120. This one is also 24, it's the same as that. And then these thin ones are 45 and 45. So to find the total surface area, you would use your calculator to add up the totals. If I added 120 and 120, I would have 240. 45 and 45, I would have 90. 
24 plus 24, I would have 48. If I add those all together, I would have 378 meters squared. What do you notice about the different faces of the rectangular prisms? Well, we notice that they are all rectangles. They all have a partner. They all have a... or a side that is the same area. And that the formula for all the sides is area equals base times height. So that's what we know about a rectangular prism. All right, our next shape we're gonna decompose looks a little different. This shape, the bases are triangles. So this shape is a triangular prism. So our sides that we need to find are first the triangles. And the area formula for a triangle is base times height and all of that divided by two. So half of the base times the height and the base times the height. So if we find, we need to find the measurements. So the base of this one is three. The base of this one is three and the height is four. So these two triangles are the same, and we're going to put base times height. So 4 times 3 divided by 2, that would equal 6 centimeters squared. So that would be the area for these two triangles. Then we have different shaped rectangles here. This one, let's go with green. This shape is a seven by five, and it is a rectangle. So our formula would be base times height. The base is seven and the height is five. So the area is 35 centimeters squared. So for here, 35 centimeters squared. Okay, this triangle here in the middle Let's make it, what color do we have left? Let's change it. Let's go with pink. Okay, so this one here in the middle is another rectangle. So it would be base times height. The base of this one is, these are all going to be sevens. So the base is seven. The height is four. When I multiply those, it is 28 centimeters squared so that's 28. the last one that we have here is going to be this side here would be and change again this shape here would be seven times three because this side is going to be three because it matches up with that side. Okay, so our last one, the base times the height would be seven times three. So that's 21 centimeters squared. So there are four faces on this one and they all four have a different area because they're all four different sizes. So I will have to add six, 35, 28, and 21. So if I add 35 plus six, that's 41. 41 plus 21 is 62. 62 plus 28 is, oops. What did I leave off? 35, that's 41. Oh, 49. Okay, let's start that over. 
Okay, so 35 and 6 is 41. 28 and 21 is 49. That would be 90. Uh, but I forgot this one. This one has actually two. So this would be 96. Because I need two of this. This one. Okay. So the total area is 96 centimeters squared. So when you add those together, just make sure you have the right number of numbers that you're adding together is the same as the face. Or the same number as the, sh the faces of the shape. All right, number three, go ahead, pause the video and see if you can figure out how you fill out this chart. Pause now. Okay, hopefully you paused and you have your chart filled out. I noticed that there is a triangle and a triangle, and those are the same height. And the triangle formula is base times height, Oop. base times height divided by two. The base is eight, the height is seven. So eight times seven divided by two would be 56 divided by two. You can use your calculator. Two goes in there two times. It'll be 28. So when I, oh, my goodness. When I plug in my values, eight times seven divided by two, that would equal 28 meters squared. The other shape, there's only one more the rectangle, but all three of these rectangles are the same size. They're gonna line up and be the same size. So I know that the base is eight and the height is 11.2 and they are rectangles. So it's just base times height, 11.2 times eight would be Hopefully you have your calculator for this. It would be 89.6. So I need to add 89.6 plus 89.6 plus 89.6 and then 28 and 28. If you use your calculator to add those, you should end up with 324.8 meters squared. Pause the video, go ahead and do number four. For this three-dimensional shape, I noticed that the bottom is a rectangle, but there's only one base. So this is gonna be a pyramid because when I fold these up, those points are all gonna make the vertex at the top. So the first shape I'm gonna look at is the base, which is a rectangle. So it would be base times height. Let's lift this. So 10 times six, and that would be 60 inches squared because we're talking about inches. And then if you notice these triangles, there are two of them or four of them, but two and two are the same. The formula for both is gonna be base times height divided by two, base times height divided by two, but I have this one with the base is 10 and the height is eight. So that's gonna be 10 times eight divided by two, which would be 40 inches squared. And this one, Oh, over here, the base is six and the height is nine. So this one's gonna be 10 times six, or sorry, 10. 
Oh my goodness. Nine times six divided by two. So 54 divided by two is 27 inches. So I'm gonna go back to my shape here. And the first one was the rectangle. So this was 60. This is the bigger triangle. So it's 40, 40, 27, 27. If you add all of those together, you'll get the surface area, which is 194 inches squared. Okay, Janelle found the surface area of the square pyramid below. Describe Janelle's error and correct her mistake. Go ahead and see if you can figure out where she made a mistake. Pause the video. Okay, for me to find her mistake, I need to see what I have. So I have a square base. I know it's a square because they said it's a square pyramid. So I know that both of those sides are 12. So 12 times 12 would be 144. The triangles are the base is 12 and the height is 8. So 12 times 8 divided by 2 would be 96 divided by 2 is 48. So that's correct. This is correct. So let's see if I add these together. I would need how many triangles? One, two, three, four. So 48 times four, 16, 192. And then I need the area of the square base, which is 144. So 336. She would have added, let's see, 240 minus 144. Because I have 240 and this. I'm going to see what this is. Is 96. So how many triangles did she add? She only added two. So her mistake was she left off two triangles. Giving her an area that was less than what it should be. All right, here is your assignment. Go ahead and get started. Good luck.